Fairness Creativers presents a word for every generation that knows no fashion. Greetings, my dear friends. I hope and trust I find you well. We have two more experiences for this week, and we want to look at verse 18 today and verse 14 on Friday. Come with me to Genesis chapter 22, and we're still on Mount Moriah. And this week, we are putting this matter to rest. At verse 18, the Bible reads as follows. Abraham looked up and saw a ram caught in the thicket by its horns. So Abraham went and took the ram and offered it as a band offering in place of his son. May the good Lord bless the reading of his word and let us share a moment in prayer. Kind and gracious Father in the heavens above. Thank you, dear Lord. We come before your throne of grace, and knowing it is not by might nor by power, but through your Son, Jesus Christ. And dear Lord, we extol his name, for it is given unto us for salvation. And dear Lord, may the name of Jesus Christ be sufficient to save, sufficient to recover from sin, and above all, to make us different from what we were before. This has been our prayer of faith. In Jesus' name we ask and pray, let all the believers say amen. Let us just draw five quick points before we go into our working week. At point number one, notice this. Abraham looked up. The invitation is always to look up on the mountaintop experience. As Abraham ended his three days, he looked up onto the mountaintop. As he gets to the mountain, he is not done looking up. He still looks up in order to see the ram. May I say unto you, as I say to myself, take time to look up. May it always be your attitude to look up. Those who look down might end up even slaying their children. From time to time, look up. It will help you. When you look up, solutions will come. When you look up, you have faith. When you look up, you have communion with heaven. When you look up, even heaven takes time to talk to you. Make it a habit from time to time to look up. Point number two. Notice that when he looks up, what he sees is not a bull. When he looks up, what he sees is not a goat. What he sees is not uh, an ule, an ewe lamb, but he sees the ram. A ram. You know, I looked this up and I thought to myself, you know, as you go back into the sacrifices that were there in the book of Leviticus, I think, from Leviticus chapter 1 up to chapters 4 or so, you're going to find a lot of sacrifices there. It was mentioned that should a priest sing, the priest was to bring a bull. Should um, a king sing, he was to bring a male goat. Should any other person sing, they were to bring a she-lamb or any other items. But the ram is not mentioned until you get to Exodus 29, I think from verse 15 and onwards. There you find the ram being used as a sin offering. Not just a sin offering, a sin offering to do with the anointing of the priests. And God provides this point. He doesn't provide anything else but a ram. And the ram was to be used as a sin offering, as a sweet server to the Lord. The other ram was supposed to be used as a consecration offering. Now, when God provides a ram in exchange for Isaac, what does this become? This becomes an anointing. This becomes a choosing. God is choosing Isaac. God is saying, Abraham, I'm not only blessing you, but even your children, they are a chosen generation. And this is repeated when we get now to Peter. For you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. Christ indeed, as Romans says, loved us before we knew him. Today I am a priest. Why? Because Christ anointed me and chose me. When did he choose me? Before I knew him. So even when the priest, the house of Aaron, which is not yet there, when it now comes to be anointed and the ram is offered again, the anointing process comes all over again. 
So it is the mountain of experience that we find God affirming his choosing of Abraham and his children. And remember to go to Colossians. He says, those who are in Christ are the heirs of Abraham. Colossians chapter 3. And so are we the heirs of Abraham because we are in Christ. Point number three. Sorry to belabor that one. I'm getting excited. The ram is not just a ram, but it is caught in a thicket of thorns. Leave the ram of Isaac. Come to my ram. Come to your ram. Christ was hung on the cross, and what was on the head? It was a crown of thorns. He is the ram that has been promised from time immemorial. He is our ram. He is our ram. Christ is the ram. It was caught in a thicket of thorns, and our Savior died with his head caught in a crown of thorns. Somebody say amen and amen. Point number four. Notice that the ram that is caught in a thicket of thorns is not too far. All that Abraham to do had to do was to walk over and pick up the ram. The ram is always within reach. It is never too far. Christ is only a prayer away. Claim your ram. Why should you claim him at point number five? Because he will take your place. He will take my place. Jesus always takes our places. As we go through the rest of this week, remember this. Christ has taken my place and he has paid it all. Doesn't the song writer say, I hear the Savior say unto me, thy strength indeed is less. Child of weakness, watch and pray. Why? Because Christ has paid it all. He took our place and he hung on that ragged cross so that you and I can be alive. He was treated as we deserve to be treated so that we may be treated as he deserves to have been treated. The invitation I give unto you for this week, look up for that is where your salvation comes from. Whether it be at work, at home, or in your spiritual matters, Always look up. Point number two, the ram, mark the anointing. You are an anointed child of God. Claim the promise and live according to his word. Above all, Christ died on the cross for you and I. And he is always within reach, always available, a prayer away, 24-7. His line is never busy. Jesus took my place and he took your place. Now he says, Come, let us have a common place, you and I. Let us meet and talk it over in the by and by, soon and very soon. May the good Lord keep you and bless you. May the good Lord prosper you, protect you, and increase your influence. This is my prayer over your life and over my life. Blessings and peace. Good day.